Hi there, this is Ani Oaken, and today I'm going to show you my Tangle Index at the request of one of my Art Club subscribers. This is a three ring binder that I have filled with coin collector sleeves, which fit perfectly two by two inch bijou paper tiles. Each page fits 20 tiles and I use this index for a variety of things, not only as a Tangle Index. Here on the first page, for example, you can see my reminders of the rules for fractalizing, which is based on my lesson on the same name, fractalizing tangles. On this next page, you see some of the tangles that can be used as terminals for tassels, which is a project I'm working on for a future lesson. On this page, you can see samplers using tiny details, which is based on another lesson called tiny details. On the next page are tangles that are classified as leaf, which is usually a shape that stands alone and sprouts from the base. On the next couple of pages, I have also my library of leaves that I use in yet another lesson, Blue Sun. And since I think they all look like leaves, I left it under that category. And on this page, you see the rules of echo lines. It's nice to have these options as reminders of what I can do with uh, this technique. On this next page on the left, I have some of my favorite strings that I found online. And on the right, another project I'm working on how to draw cruel flowers. On this page, you see some blossom tangles and all of these tiles are from Lynn Mead's excellent tiny tangle deck, which also measures two by two inches. The interesting thing about Lynn's deck is that the back of each tile has more information about the tangle, including the name and the stroke used. The next page also has blossom tangles, and these are my own drawings. And you can see how I like to add the name of the tangle to the front of the tile, not the back. So I can see it immediately and use both sides of the index page. And here you can see more blossom tangles. I seem to have a lot of those. I like to add fully shaded samples to my tiles to show the possibilities in 3D. These next tangles are classified as vine, and they grow exactly like vines, spreading out organically, but still connected to a center skeleton or a backbone. And here are more vines. And on the right, you can see some edge weed tangles, which are tangles that seem to sprout along an edge and grow upward. Here's the first page of the organic filler tangles, and these are tangles that spread randomly in all directions and just happen to be my favorite type of tangle. And as you can see, I have a lot of those in my index. On this little page, you can see more of Lynn's little tiles. I try to keep them together even if they're repeated from the ones that I drew because they have information on the back. And here you can see my grid fillers front and back on the page. I seem to have a lot of those too, but not because I like them that much, mostly because it just seems like there are a lot of patterns that tend to follow grids. And here's another favorite type of tangle, ribbon tangles. And these are patterns that seem to follow and grow along a straight or curvy path. I find them very, very useful. Now here are some tangles that I classify as weaves because they form these really pretty woven designs after ready. I don't have a lot of those, but I like them. And on the last page, my index of radial blossom samplers, also based on my lesson of the same name. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you want to find these index pages for your three ring binder, follow the link to my Amazon influencer page and you'll find the links there. As far as the punch goes to create the bijou tiles, I use a punch that is no longer available anywhere. So I recommend that you use officials and tangle bijou tiles or cut squares out of cardboard paper measuring two by two inches. And that's it.